Hey guys, Josh here from GBU. Uh, we got some exciting news. We got the new Remington MSR Sniper Gel Blaster in stock, just arrived in yesterday. So we're gonna go through it and let you guys know what is so awesome about this new blaster. Uh, some features that we've never seen before. We're gonna show you how it shoots in the firing range and what FPS we have. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the new Remington MSR Sniper Gel Blaster. This gel blaster is a copy of the Remington MSR. Full nylon construction on the body. And as you can see, this handguard is sitting at about 12 inches. And it does have a lot of space for you to put your own rails and do it up the way that you wish. Package contents, it does come with an upgraded spring similar to the JY AWM. That is an upgraded spring and it does increase the FPS. Now also, it does come with an extended barrel. So as you can see here, the standard barrel that goes to this length and the extended barrel brings it out just that little bit more further. So depending on how you'd like your setup, it does have those options. Now this also comes with a metal bolt. So that's actually a great feature. The way that this is actioned, when you pull it back and you cock it, that is really, really high quality compared to the AWM, and it's very smooth, unlike some of the other previous sniper rifles that we've had on display here. Uh, we have the old foldable stock. So the JY AWM did have the similar feature of the folding stock. So this stock does fold, pull that, and the stock does fold. Um, a lot of metal parts that I've seen, adjustment cheek risers, the adjustment of the spacing of the length of the butt stock, the little clips here that hold the butt stock, the bolt, all your threads in the handguard, everything has metal accents, which is absolutely phenomenal to see and does give it that value for money. So let's get to the magazine. In the previous AWM, uh, the magazine was run by batteries. This is actually run by a JST connection, not just yet AAA or AA batteries, this run by a LiPo battery. So that's great, um, instead of recharging or putting new batteries in each time. So, and the mag is full nylon as well, capacity of about 100 gel balls. It's good to see that the magazines are getting more firm. Obviously when you drop them and all that, it does cause damage. That's a great feature on this. Um, also the internals, you've got the metal cylinders and everything in there. So it is very well built, very sturdy. You can see the spring in there as well. So this thing's very well put together. Um, we also have the rubberized grip. Um, that is actually proper rubberized. That's actually a great feel as well that molds around your fingers. That's an awesome asset to this gel blaster as well. And as we move up to the top, we have a metal trigger assembly. Um, and yeah, so I'm surprised the amount of metal that this MSR has. Coming in at the same price as the AWM, um, they've definitely gone above and beyond, especially that butt stock. That is a really, really beautiful looking butt stock. So um, beautiful blaster, a, a lot of features, obviously with the handguard, AWM, you do not have a choice. You've got no handguard at all. Um, I know some people that have rigged one on. Um, you got your choice of barrels, you have your tip. And another cool feature, is actually almost got enough space to put on a hop up. So you just grind this outer barrel down, you know, a couple of mil, and you can slide on an outer barrel and then put a hop up on top, then put a 19 mil outer diameter suppressor or anything you want on the tip of that, and that's ready to go. So this blaster, I dare say is game ready. You can use this at a game. It's actually one of the only ones that has come out so far that I would personally take to a game. So that's that. Now we're gonna actually have a look what it looks like. It does not come with a scope, nor does it come with uh, anything else, a metal suppressor or nothing. So let's go over and we'll show you one that we've put together to show you what it can look like. So that's the MSR, it does come with the upgrade spring, safety glasses, the extension barrel, and um, now we're gonna see what you can make it look like once you deck it out. Here we go, guys. This is something we've put together a bit earlier. So we've added the metal bipod, we've added the suppressor, and we've added the hop-up that goes inside. Maybe you won't be able to see it. We've added the uh, four times 32 scope, zoom. The thing looks like an absolute beast. Amazing gel blaster. If you want something that looks good, that doesn't look dodgy, that shoots well, 
the MSR is definitely for you. So now we're gonna take it to the firing range and we're actually gonna see how it performs FPS wise. We won't do it with the upgraded spring, we'll just do it with the standard spring and then you can just guess um, how much more powerful it will be uh, with the upgraded spring. So there you go, you guys. Sweet guys, so we're here now just to give it a quick FPS test. It's a great body, but let's see how it shoots. So uh, we've loaded up the mag. Uh, it does take a battery inside that mag. And um, yeah, let's see how we go. So first up, we got 236 FPS, which is absolutely solid for a sniper. Let's go again. 243 FPS. And we'll do one more. 232 FPS. So that's averaging some solid FPS for a sniper. Definitely one of the strongest snipers on uh, the market at the moment. I dare say with that upgraded spring, you're gonna reach probably 250 FPS. And then with the aftermarket spring, you'll probably be hitting about 300 FPS. So this blast is definitely game ready. Definitely something you wanna get your hands on. If it's not for game use, and it's definitely for hanging up on your wall, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's just, it's functionality is amazing, really smooth. It's got all the engravings of Remington on it, the rubberized grip, um, and you can really deck it out to make it something of your liking. So yeah, hope this uh, review really helped. Get your hands on one. It will be available in the link below from jobbleundercover.com.au. So get your hands on one and we'll see you soon for the next Blaster review. Take care guys.